Welcome to Electromagnetics Playlist. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you examples based on volume charge density in this session. In my previous video, I have explained surface charge density, volume charge density and line charge density. So based on that session, now in this session, I will solve examples based on volume charge density here. So let me write question first. So here in this question, volume charge density that is given rho v that is rho v is equals to rho 0 into e to the power minus mode of minus x minus y minus z and that is existing over all free space and question is to calculate total charge present in this free space. So as we have seen the basic formula and here Cartesian coordinate system is there as it is varying in free space as per xyz coordinate. So total charge is integration of volume charge density over volume and here Cartesian coordinate system is there. So we have this rho v that is rho 0 e to the power mode of x minus mode of y minus mode of z dx dy dz and this is existing over all over free space. So x range that is there from minus infinite to infinite y range that is even there from minus infinite to infinite and z range that is even there from minus infinite to infinite. Now see here here we have mode of x right here we have mode of x mode of y and mode of z so we can further rewrite this i'm writing this see e to the power minus mode of x into e to the power minus mode of y into e to the power minus mode of z dx dy dz now if you observe limits of x, y, z and all three are in multiplication, right? And that is varying from minus infinite to infinite. So if you consider limit from uh, 0 to infinite, then we need to multiply x, y and z all three with 2 as range and function is same from minus infinite to infinite, right? We can bisect that in the limit of 0 to infinite. So if you bisect that limit from 0 to infinite, you will have to multiply 2 with x integration, y integration and z integration. So now you see all I am doing is rho 0 is common. I can separately do this integration as all three are independent. So 0 to infinite if I do this then 2 into e to the power minus mode of x that I need to do dx. Now instead of mode of x, now I need to write x, right? As mode of x that indicates uh, positive magnitude only, right? So from minus infinite to 0 and from 0 to infinite, it will be same. So I am multiplying it with 2. So now I can say this limit that will be from 0 to infinite with multiplicand over the multiply by 2 over here. And similarly for y coordinate, 2 into e to the power minus y dy into 0 to infinite 2 into e to the power minus z dz. So if you take this 2 common, right, so 2, 2, 2, that will be 8 rho 0 and this integration e to the power minus x by minus 1 limit is from 0 to infinite e to the power minus y by minus 1 limit is from 0 to infinite and e to the power minus z by minus 1, 0 to infinite. Now if you place this infinite, so 1 by infinite that will be 0 and minus minus plus e to the power 0 that is 1 and similarly over here e to the power minus y where infinite that will be 1 by infinite that is 0 minus minus plus e to the power 0 that is 1 and similarly for z 0 plus 1. So this will be 
resulting into 8 rho 0 right so this total charge over here for this case q that is 8 rho 0 now let us have one more problem so let me write this problem first so here in this problem we have spherical coordinates right and question is to calculate total charge for rho v is equals to this where you can clearly see rho v is 0 for r is greater than a and rho v is something for r is less than a so here we can calculate total charge as per basic formula integration volume integration of rho v now here this volume integration that rho v see this spherical coordinate right so for that all you need to do is this rho v into r square sin theta dr d theta d phi that you need to do right for volume integration so you will have to multiply this r square sin theta dr d theta d phi d phi for spherical coordinates for volume integration so here see this rho v that is rho v 0 into 1 minus r square by a square into r square sin theta dr d theta d phi now you see here r that is that is having this function for r less than a means r is varying from 0 to a now for spherical coordinates for spherical coordinates this theta that varies from 0 to pi and this phi that varies from 0 to 2 pi so phi varies from 0 to 2 pi theta varies from 0 to pi r varies from 0 to a and if you observe this right then you will be finding this rho v0 that is constant you can take it outside there is nothing in terms of phi in this equation so integration of 1 that is phi limit is from 0 to 2 pi if you observe theta term so there is there is only the sin theta so integration of sin theta that is minus cos theta and limit is from 0 to pi and further if you observe this then this is what r square minus r raised to 4 by a square right so r square integration that is r cube by 3 and r minus r raised to 4 integration is r raised to 5 by 5 into a square where limit of r that is ranging from 0 to a so now if you place this so rho v 0 0 to 2 pi so this will be 2 pi now see cos pi so that is minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 minus minus plus again cos 0 that is 1 so 1 plus 1 that will be 2 into if you place r is equals to a then there will be something a r is equals to 0 then this term will be 0 so we can say this will be a cube by 3 minus a cube by a square so that is a cube only divided by 5 so I am just simplifying this 2 into pi into 2 so that is 4 pi rho v 0 into 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 so 5 minus 3 2 divided by 15 into a cube so 2 divided by 15 into a cube so we can say this is what 8 pi 8 pi by 15 into rho v0 a cube so this is what total charge which is there in this spherical coordinates so here I am just solving this example to explain you how to solve this type of integration right so you should not do this mistake and one more thing 
when you calculate this type of problem all you need to focus is theta that varies from 0 to pi and phi varies from 0 to 2 pi and you just need to see proper calculation see if variables are independent separately one can have multiplication of integration and we can easily solve this if additive dependency is there then one by one we need to do integration and then only further integration can be done but multiplication and independent variables are there then directly separately we can have multiplication of integration of all terms so these are the things that we need to focus i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions i'm waiting for your suggestions so please give it and i'm noting all those suggestions which you are giving over here and based on that only i'm making videos so please give your suggestions definitely your suggestions will give more clarity over here so please give it over here thank you so much for watching this video